Hi everyone, welcome back to Franny Square for another flash review where I review crochet products in less than five minutes. Today I'm going to be doing a review of Melissa Liepman's Indispensable Stitch Collection for Crocheters book. And I want to thank Regina Mills for the suggestion to review crochet books. This is the first of many reviews of books. And I started with this one because this truly is indispensable for me. This book contains a collection of about 200 stitches and the stitches are broken into six sections. There are simple solid stitches, which give you a tighter fabric. And I use that when I want something warmer or when I want something that you can't see through or something that's a little bit stronger. The next section is a fans and shells section, and those are all really beautiful stitches. Then there's an open work and lace section. And I love those stitches for things that I want to be light and airy, like shawls or ponchos, or even over tops that are see-through that I'd wear a tank top underneath. There's a section on textured stitches, such as ribbings and popcorn stitches. And a lot of those stitches I like to make heavier garments or blankets with because they're warmer and they add a lot of texture. There's a section on color work where she shows you how to do stripes and mosaics, how to change color, how to carry a color along. And then finally, there's a section on edgings, a lot of beautiful edgings to finish off your projects. The way I like to use this book is I'll pick a, an item that I wanna make, and then I'll pick out the stitch that'll give me the feel that I'm looking for. And then an edging, if I'm gonna use an edging, that sets it off just right. This book makes it so easy to design your own projects because you can just pick and choose and put things together and make it your own, which you know I love to do. So each stitch comes with a colored picture of the stitch. She'll tell you for your foundation row of chains how many chains you'll need in multiples. So she may say a multiple of five plus two chains. So you can figure out how many chains you need for your project. It comes with written instructions, and then it comes with a chart with international symbols. In the back, she has a section called Understanding International Symbols. So if you haven't used charts before, she makes it very easy to use the chart and to learn how to use charts. She also shows which stitches are reversible. She has a little icon with the different stitches that are reversible. There's also a section called Crochet Techniques where she starts with the chain stitch, the single crochet, and she takes you through many stitches and shows you how to do them using drawings like this. And they're very simple to follow. The book was $24.99, totally worth it. It truly is my stitch Bible. I highly recommend it. So all in all, I would definitely give this a five out of five Franny Squares. I have a link below where you can purchase this book if you'd like. I hope you found this review helpful. I'll be doing many more, as I said. And as always, thank you so much for joining me. And remember to make it your own, and I'll see you soon. Music